what's going on everybody I'd like to welcome everybody back to my channel today I'm just riding around downtown you know enjoying the weather enjoying this time out on my bike I'm actually caught in a little traffic go figure and it's about two in the afternoon and school is out and it's still traffic. It's crazy. Even though it's not really showing up on the camera, it's actually nice and sunny outside. I don't know why it looks so cloudy and doom and gloomish. Looks like it's about to rain on me, but that's definitely not the case. I do not ride in the rain. The only way you would catch me in the rain is if I'm out and all of a sudden the sky just starts crying. Yeah, I had enough of being on 30 and riding out of traffic, so I'm about to go ahead and exit and pull into to Deep Ellum. Now, I really have, I've, I've been to Deep Ellum a couple times on a couple other videos, but each time I come to Deep Ellum, I'm taking a different route. And the, the beauty of Deep Ellum is, of course, located in, in downtown Dallas, in the city. But it's like a, almost like you call it a melting pot, because you got so many cultures and you have different sports bars, different restaurants, uh, tattoo parlors, nightclubs, uh, different you know, places just to meet up and have fun with your friends or just meet new people down here in Deep Ellum. What I'm gonna have to do is just come through here at night time so you can really see it. Cause it's, like I said, it's like two in the afternoon so it's definitely quiet right now. Most of these places in Deep Ellum don't open up until later, like around seven, eight-ish. But still during the daytime, there's still, there's still some uh, restaurants open. And I believe the tattoo shops are still open during the daytime. Definitely be careful in Deep Ellum. Uh, like anything, when there's always a, a spot to meet up and have fun, you're gonna have somebody looking to ruin your fun. Whether it's harass you or ask you for money or anything, just you gotta be careful. It has to be on the swivel when you're down here, so make sure nobody catches you slipping. And just really pay attention when you ride down here in your car, motorcycle, whatever. Just uh, pay attention. A lot of these streets in Deep Ellum are one-way streets, but you know you'll have somebody, whether they're visiting or they could be here, and just not familiar with this area. But like this street I'm on, it's a one-way street. So if I see some headlights, I'm gonna try to my best to get out of the way because it's one way. They shouldn't even be on this street coming towards me. But it happens. Mistakes happen. And I know y'all just saw. Y'all don't see it. There it is. Surveillance drone. They watching. They're going to sun. It's just hidden behind all those clouds. <laughs> Sorry about that. I almost just set through the lights looking up at that drone. Nah, I was messing around. That was an airplane. But there are people flying drones around here. So just uh, be careful and mindful of that. This was on a flip side, two in the morning versus two in the afternoon. Trust me, it would be people just everywhere. Cars everywhere, Uber and Lyft and taxi cabs everywhere around two. Between, like I said, like 
7 to 2 in the morning, it, it's packed to be bubble. But now I'm downtown, and I'm still on M Street. Might change my name to Junior Kruger. Shout out to Freddy Kruger. Yeah, I'm riding on M Street. I wonder, does every city have an M Street? Main Street, M Street, MLK, Malcolm X? I believe so. I believe so. I enjoy riding through downtown. I know uh, a lot of people don't because of all of the one-way streets and people just uh, walking out in front of you, riding a scooter out in front of you, or one of those smart bikes or whatnot. But I actually enjoy riding through downtown because you just always see something different. A different person, a different building. Something is different every time. Right now I'm about to roll over to the West End. Man, I was just about to say back in my day, like an old person, but when I was a teenager riding through the West End, man, it was just totally different because there was so much to do in the West End. We had a movie theaters, uh, pup pup golf, uh, arcades. It was just so much to do. It was just a good place to hang out as a teenager, as a kid. And for whatever reason, it's just, it just slowly evaporated, just cleared out. It's like it was never here before. I don't know why. Oh, and I can't remember if I said movie theaters. They had a movie theaters down here too. So it was pretty much just about doing anything at the West End when I was a teenager. The times have definitely changed. Like this area that I'm riding to now, Victory, was, was not even here. It was just grass. <laughs> but now it's like sky rises and high rises, rises everywhere. It brought up how much like New York. This, this area over here is, is very nice, very expensive too, but hey, you gotta pay the cost for the boss. Now I'm rolling up to the AAC Center. Can you run the call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, salute to the Dallas Stars. Right now we are you know, and making our little playoff run, and hopefully we can get past St. Louis. St. Louis just always seems like they are nemesis. The St. Louis Blues, they always give us the Blues. For some reason, we just can't figure out how to beat them. But yeah, we're in the playoffs. We are in the playoffs, baby. But I'm not gonna make this one long. I'm just gonna, you know, go ahead and wrap it up. But just wanted to uh, put some more content out here just let y'all know that I am still riding, I am still making videos and you know, to keep, keep hanging around with me, staying on this journey with me. I promise you I have more to come. This is Junior. And yes, I am a barber, but I am a barber myself. My home I went to barber college with. He's been taking care of me lately, so yeah, headed to his spot. All right.